Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Eric Cave. I'm the director of Next Gen Ministries for the Pacific Northwest Conference. And I'm here with my friends, Michael and Sonetta Hunter. They're the newish pastors at Emerald City Bible Fellowship. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity to introduce them all to you today. So, Michael and Sonetta, welcome. Why don't we begin and uh, the two of you share with us what is your personal and ministry background? Thank you, Eric. It's great to be with you today. Michael and I both were pretty much raised in church, so we've been in church uh, the majority of our lives. Um, and then uh, when I moved to Anchorage, Alaska to be a part of, um, my father was in the military, moved up to Anchorage, mm. and I connected with a church up there right away. I um, was active in the choir and, and women's ministry and that type of thing. And not long after that, um, Michael ended up coming up to Alaska to be our associate pastor. And that's what we met. And so, yeah, I heard it was really, really cold up there. And she was yeah. shivering and stuff. And I <laughs> I went and I, I just had to go make her feel warm. <laughs> that's good. Good. So you had been in ministry already. Yeah, I, had, I was already in ministry. Uh, I was actually working for uh, uh, an organization called Give Us a Stay with Joshua and Virginia Phillips. In the, in oh, okay. Or, where I left, and uh, that was a home for girls that were being emancipated, and oh, wow. uh, and still are in connection with some of the girls that came out of that program. Uh, and then we came here to see, I came came to Anchorage, and uh, she fell in love with me, and uh, we got married. <laughs> I know I always you all you always change the story, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we started pastoring together um, right after we got married. Okay. Which was in 1988. Interim pastors there, served there for four years, came to Seattle to help the church get started here. Yeah. Associate pastors there. And then we took a little break after 10 years of ministry and uh, started a Bible study in our home. Yeah. And God called us back into pastoring. We pastored in Kent, Washington for 14 years. Mm. And we got the call to come to inter come to Emerald City. Great. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're in Emerald City now. And I know it's been... Just over a year. Almost just a year over a year. Yeah, just over a year. About a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been great having you a part of our conference. And oh, so tell me, you know, what are you guys passionate about in ministry right now? I would say that our passion right now is uh, souls, just, you know, mm. really uh, being uh, uh, engaged and focusing on uh, uh, winning the loss. And that that's really where our heart is right now. And also to add to that, couples, marriages, and families. We have a yeah. couples ministry that we've been doing now for um, over 20 years. Mm, yeah. We do a lot of work with married couples. And um, so we're real passionate about marriage and helping the very Very passionate. Help, help Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I want to see um, marriages last and have longevity to them. Yeah, wow, that's great. Um, well, how can we be praying for you guys? Um, I, I would say, I would say to, um, the laborers. You know, uh, um, you know the hearts of the people that they would really engage and be, be catching on fire to. Uh, uh, to go out and, and, and share the gospel um, with souls. I think the evangelism aspect of ministry is challenging because it requires you to have relationship with people. And I think that uh, as we know, we still are recovering from, you know, the pandemic, you know, and so mm -hmm, we're mm -hmm. used to being inside our houses. And so now, we got to get used to going out and 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 building relationship mm -hmm. with people that we don't know. And that's what discipleship is, you know. So, so really, I th I think that just praying that the heart of the people will really engage uh, in uh, uh, going out and sharing the gospel. Uh, Sonetta, would you want to add anything to that, or anything else you'd like us to be praying for? Yeah, yeah. One of the things that we are <clears throat> specifically praying for is. Lord, to give us a real strategy on how to reach our youth. Mm. Uh, we have a passion for our young people. Great. And, um, you know, there's so many um, that are lost in our community. 
And we're just praying for God to really give us some real direction and strategy on how to reach them. Yeah. So um, that's definitely an area of prayer for us. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you both of you for sharing those, those things. And um, I'll be praying for you and I hope that our viewers will commit themselves to prayer, pray for you as well. Appreciate. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Love you guys for that. Good. Well, let's transition. One of our um, customs is during these interviews, just ask some fun questions to get to know you a little bit better. And so we have a few we've kind of pre-picked here and I'll throw them out there and you can both answer on one of you, however you want. doesn't matter to me. Uh, but the first one is what's one thing that you could not live without? For me, <laughs> <You're passing it laughs> the size of each other is my grandkids. Mm. Three beautiful grandchildren and one on the way. One on the way. And um, that's the thing I cannot do without. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. How, how many kids do you have? We have two boys. Two boys and four, and we're, we're about to have four grandkids. And four grandkids. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah, that's an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So next question is, where is your favorite place to be? Anywhere on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love the water. We love the travel. And anything on vacation, I think, is our favorite place. Yeah, I think that um, I, I would say riding down the highway with Sonetta is really fun for me. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I'm, I'm being real with that um, because we get the, we hit the highway, no radio, just driving down the road and enjoying each other's presence. And it's one of the most... Uh, um, Relaxing, ra relaxing times that we have. Mm, that's being on the road, riding, and enjoying each other. Good. Well, that kind of leads right into the, the next question: Is what is or where is the best place you've traveled to, and why was it the best? Korea. Korea. Okay. Oh, Korea. Talk about it. Yeah. When did you go, and what was the occasion? Uh, we went there. Uh, what was that about? Five, that was oh. Five, right? 2005. Yeah, 2005. Trip there. Actually, they worked with some couples they in the military. Them. Had us come over and do some marriage workshops over there. And um, so it was great just opportunity to experience another culture. But also, it helped me personally understand what, what people from other uh, cultures, when they're here, uh, yeah. the struggle of trying to connect and understand and communicate. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have to do that yourself. You really understand what others are going through yeah. when they're here, and it makes you more empathetic to what um, they're experiencing when they come to America. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it was a it was a very uh, fulfilling time. Oh, that's great. Okay, last question, maybe the most important one is: Which would you want the most? Flying cars, robot housekeepers, or moon cities? <laughs> Say that again. Flying cars. Flying cars, robot housekeepers, or moon cities. Uh, I would want flying car. I mean, I would yeah. want the robot housekeepers because I don't <laughs> drive. So okay. the car thing is not a big deal for me anyway. I, I can drive, but I he drives yeah. all the time. Flying cars. So flying yeah, cars, that's your answer. Flying car, but I, I want somebody to take care of this house. You want the yeah. robot housekeeper? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Yeah, and then we would be like the Jetsons, you know. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Good. Well, Michael and Sonetta, thank you for um, just taking the time to share who you are and your lives with the rest of us. It's been fantastic. Thank you. It's thank always you. good to talk with you, Eric. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, I've watched other uh, interviews and... Uh, they're always fun. You make them fun. And oh, thanks. A great person, and we appreciate you. Thank you.